Ah, YouTube, what's up? This is my first video in a while. I decided to jump back on as I have free time. And, uh, you know, if you've been following me on TikTok or whatnot, you kind of know my story. But um, today, I'm just going to take y'all inside the life of my routine in prison and how I still use that today. You know what I'm saying? So let me get my ass up. Now I get some light. So real quick, in prison, they wake you up at like 4.45 five but I, i'm not a morning person i'm gonna be completely real um i typically get up at like 8 39 so just being transparent i know all of these youtubers and fitness influencers they up at 5 a.m not me i'm gonna get my rest so first order of business man i don't care what i do i gotta make my bed that is essential you would legit get written up if your bed was not made properly and so I just been, I, I spent five years there doing the exact same thing. And so like, it's a habit. As soon as my feet hit the floor, I might take a few seconds to breathe, stretch, open my window. But next thing is bed. I use, I, I make my bed before I even use the bathroom. So. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't do this in jail, but now I do it. I take this labdanum, one of my favorite, absolute favorite uh, fragrances, and I just spray my bed. And it's expensive too, so I use a little bit of sprays. I don't know why, but this shit like 250, but it smells amazing, so. Um, real quick before I dive into this, um, so while I was in prison, uh, my first celly, who was my cell buddy for almost three years, was Muslim. And uh, you know, once you move into a cell with somebody, it's kind of like you're moving into somebody else's house. I know that sounds weird and mind like crazy, but that's like laws of prison. So once he was already in that cell 10 years before I even been there. So you gotta think this has been his home for 10 years. And uh, I came in there and I peed, flushed the toilet. He let me use the bathroom. And then he came and he was like, hey, you know, as a man, I would never tell you how to use the bathroom. However, I would appreciate if you uh, show some respect towards my religion, and this is how we use the bathroom, um, and here's why we use it this way, et cetera, et cetera. And basically, it was for uh, just hygiene reasons to keep the cell clean, keep pray. You gotta think our cell is typically our bathroom and bedroom all in one. And so um, he would pray right beside the toilet. And so this is how to use the bathroom. And you know, I, I, I thought it was super neat and clean. And so I've been using it like this ever since. Only in my house, I don't do this out in public. So, so. so basically, I just take a knee, like so, lift the toilet, and I relieve myself. I'm not gonna do that on camera, but this is how I use the restroom. My mom, after I'm done, I close the lid and I flush. Also, one of my favorite brands, Peter Thomas Raw, Butch, love Peter Thomas Raw. Um, it works for me, might not work for you, but I got dry skin, so Peter Thomas Raw is your go-to. Again, more Peter Thomas Raw, this is like my go-to hyaluronic acid with dry skin. And fellas, if you don't got no skin routine, bro, huh? You, you bugging. If you're washing your face with soap, you're bugging. Y'all tripping. You better get on that Peter Thomas Raw. 
do a skin routine in five minutes, so 10 minutes max. Sometimes I add my little eye practice, but a little short on time today, so we could skip that. All right, so I just made my bed, which is my first accomplishment of the day. Uh, I used the bathroom, showed you guys how I did that. Now I'm gonna go for my morning walk. Every morning I would go for a walk. This for me uh, was more mental than it was physical. Um, and what every morning did, it just allowed me to go out, walk the yard and uh, just clear my head. So I'm gonna show y'all like this. Oh, walk, 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 walk. Spin, spin, let's get it. I'm gonna just throw these little beaters on and it's a little chilly out, so I got this. Favorite green pants, these are my house pants. So, hello, here with me. Ain't doing too much. Go for a nice little walk. And real quick, that's why, obviously, in prison, we didn't have iPhones and Apple Music and whatnot, but we did have these like uh, radios with headphones, and that's typically what I would use to, uh, to uh, just walk the yard because we didn't have uh, iPhone, Apple headphones, and all of that mess. Just had a radio and uh, bummy ass headphones. And for me, this was just like, you know, it's just therapeutic for me. Um, I just get out there and I, I escape uh, mentally prison. Um, and I gather my thoughts for the day, gather my thoughts for the week. And, uh, you know, I did this every single day. And I still try to maintain this uh, out in society. I don't get a morning walk every day, but I do try to get at least four or five times a week. There I am on the walk, get it. And real quick, as I'm walking, uh, I know a lot of y'all are probably like, why were you in prison? Or like, who cares? But I think that's a video for another day. If y'all want me to do the entire why I went to prison in the first place story, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get that to y'all ASAP. Walk for about 20 minutes, uh, clear my brain. Now I'm headed back to the crib. And also another thing too, real quick. Um, anytime we came in our cell, everybody doesn't do this in prison. So I, I want y'all to think, oh, this is so normal in prison. It's not. You got some people that are just filthy, dirty. They don't clean their cell, any of that. Also, when we walk into our cell, immediately before we cross the threshold, we take our shoes off, so I still implement that as well. All of my friends know, don't come in my crib with your shoes off. I'm gonna take it as disrespectful. That's another thing, man. Gotta keep it clean in here, you know what I'm saying? And that leads me to my next thing I did every day, every morning, after breakfast and my walk or workout, I go straight and clean my apartment or I clean myself. And so I'll show you guys a little bit about how I do that. As you can see, yesterday I had a little wine that I left off, so I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna, once I drink my wine and I'm relaxed, I'm going straight to bed. I ain't cleaning up. So typically, I clean it up in the morning. on to the kitchen and here's where things get a little more detailed typically um inside of our cells we didn't use any mops any brooms that the public use and so what i do now as opposed to using my mop or my swiffer i do have those things but i typically my my kitchen and my bathroom have to be the cleanest thing in my house and so for me I just do it on my hands and knees, like that's how I get I get in there, hands and knees for my kitchen and my bathroom. Let me show you how I do that. All right, I got my method spray and I got my disinfectant wipes, so that's what we are gonna use. The kitchen, yo, you eat in here. This gotta be the cleanest thing in your house, straight up. All right, so I also wash the dishes, wipe down the counter and whatnot, but I'm not trying to make this video super long, but let's hit the bathroom, same products. Let's go. All right, first order of business definitely is toilet. I'm gonna use something a little more stronger than that. And I'll also use this. A lot of y'all don't drink water 
and so your pee stinks and that's that smell lingers in your toilet but this is why it's essential to clean this every day or every two or three days listen it is imperative that you clean behind the toilet there are so many germs that probably splash back there technically if you don't clean behind there you ain't clean your toilet that's how i feel you ain't back here cleaning it you ain't cleaning it and you want to know how you know mine's clean look look at that look at that it's clean ain't nothing on there because i clean back there regularly that's why regularly all right so just finished cleaning it wasn't a lot to clean because if y'all watch my videos you know i clean damn near every day so it wasn't a lot to clean i'm about to give y'all a small house tour so y'all can see how clean it is Disinfectant sit in there just to have that good thing in here. Alright, here's the kitchen. Got a few dishes. I had a food truck event, so it's a lot of dishes from the food truck. And then living room. You know the living room is a vibe. Gotta keep the vibes. Living room. There you have it. Alright y'all. That pretty much sums up my uh my habits that I use in prison. There's a lot more that I still use, but like I said, I didn't want this video to be super long. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a gist or like a small bit of what that looks like. Um, this is gonna be my first real vlog video. I did some in the past, but it was on some other stuff. I'm rebranding, obviously. So if you like this video, please share, comment what you want my next video to be. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Let's, let's keep this thing going, man. Peace.